In this Routecard tutorial video, we will see how to perform a threading operation with the Routecard CADCAM software. We have designed a chalk holder tool using keep out line. We also have designed a workpiece a center that is holding the long workpiece in place. We've designed an axis and also a cutting tool with keep outline. Now, what we wish to do is to perform an external threading on this uh, workpiece. We can also perform internal threading. The difference between an, an external and internal threading is that the external threading the tool is running on the outside of the work whereas an internal threading the tool is working on the inside of the work of course with an internal threading a bore of the proper diameter must be drilled in the workpiece first and then the tool can run through it to make an internal threading if uh, we desire to do so. Now, let's see how we can make an external threading with RouteCAD CADCAM software. It's quite easy. The first thing we notice, we notice the axis Z and X that we put there. Again, all these objects are keep, made with keep out line, which means it is a graphical representation. Um, they are not made with regular construction line, which means they will not be routed. It's only there for indication of what we're doing. But we don't have to do all of this every time. We perhaps do it once, and then uh, it helps us get a visual cue, and also it helps us uh, planning how our tool will move and prevent damaging our tool uh, by doing a simulation, as we will show before actually uh, running it on the CNC. What we've done so far is we put a routed point on the origin of the axis, which means this is on a physical sense. This will represent the zero zero location of um, of, a, of the tool tip of a, that we're going to use. Now we also put the first initial point that is exactly at the material surface for the thread that we are about to do. These are the two points that we made, and we routed this point already. Now this point will be routed automatically as part of the wizard. So we, if we click the middle mouse button on this, we can set this point has been routed, and if we click this on this point, it is not yet routed. So now let's do the uh, threading with the wizard. To do that, we go to wizard, and we click on Contour of Revolution and Operation, and we go on the Threading tab. Now, what we're trying to do is a tab. We're trying to do a, um, a thread. We would like the thread to be two inches long. That's how long the thread will be in the Z-axis. We also want to define a distance from the cutting point, from the, uh, from the contact point over here, of a quarter of an inch, which means that we uh, want our CNC uh, cutting tool to go back above this point a quarter of an inch. Now we also want the depth of the thread to be 0.1 inch in this particular case. And we all, obviously as we're making a thread, we're going to find out exactly what are the proper uh, depth of thread and TPI that we want to do for the particular thread we want to make. But this example, we just want to go 0.1 inch. And in this case, we also we are going uh, five uh, thread per inch for this particular particular thread. When we are happy with the setting, we just uh, uh, click on make a threading operation. Now there's one more parameter that we must keep in mind before we start. And this parameter is in the config panel, and it's actually the roughing uh, depth of cut per pass. Normally, this parameter is used when we're making a, a profile, but the threading is kind of a specialized profile. 
and it's using the roughing uh, depth of cut per pass. What it means means that every pass of the trading will go by the amount we have defined in the roughing uh, per pass. Now we are defined in the roughing per pass 0.05, uh, um, 0.05 inch to go in every pass. So now we're ready to uh, begin the, tra the trading. We have the tip, it tells us to click on the contact point to make a trading operation. The contact point we defined already. This is where the trading will start. And it is, um, we, we have point, snap to point. We just go on that point and click on it. And here we go. Route had actually made the trading operation for the, uh, for the trading we have defined. We wanted a thread uh, that was two inch long. And if we click on the property of that, we can see the length of this thread is two inch long, and we are going above the material by a quarter of an inch, and we're going 0 0.05 inch each time, and the total we have two passes, so that will give us a thread of 0 0.1 inch deep. Now, what will actually happen is when we export the G code, the um, the motion between the rotary A axis and the Z axis will be synchronized by the Z code so that uh, the, the, the spindle is turning one way when it goes in and the other way it goes back. It will keep its motion back and forth like that to give you exactly the thread that you want. One other thing of interest is that in the thread per inch, if we, uh, inver if we put a negative value for the thread per inch, the spindle will spin in the other direction. Sometimes that could be interesting uh, if the spindle is actually going in the wrong direction. So we can just put, let's uh, say, instead of putting five uh, thread per inch, we can put minus five, and then the spindle will go in the other direction. Now, one last thing that we are going to do uh, before exporting to G code is we're just going to check to make sure that the coding tool is actually capable of making this thread without damaging anything. So we're going to do kind of a simulation of the motion of the cutting tool. As usual, to do that, we're going to select the window, and we're going to edit copy, um, and then we're going to pick up the whole uh, cutting tool. Now, we must disable the translation. We want to move with the mouse. So we're going to pick up the whole cutting tool, and we're going to click on any point over here, for example. And then we're going to run the cutting tool in the deepest part of the thread, just to make sure that it can make this thread. You see it's not going to hit the chalk, it's not going to hit the center tool, it's not going to hit anything. And we click the right mouse button to cancel the action of copying line. And uh, if we zoom the area of the thread, we can better see what will actually happen. What route, route CAD will actually do, it will, the, the cutting tool, uh, we have the zero, zero location over here. Now we set up, we set one uh, particular point over there on the surface. So the cutting tool that was actually um, at, uh, at, uh, at, at, the, at the origin point will move to the point above the material, and then it will move inside, make the first pass come up, and then move again, take the second pass come up to finish the thread, and the uh, the work will actually rotate as the uh, as the Z axis is uh, moving. Now the last step, once we are done with all that, is to uh, finally we go to Wizard, we go to Machine, and export to G code for CNC Lake.